everybody, Fahim Fanzer, subscriber, contractor, fan of Medlearn. The first thing I want to wish is I hope all of you are happy, healthy, and trust me, we're going to have an absolutely fantastic new year. It's really important to reinforce that message because together, let's build a better world, let's make a difference, and let's start to talk about this series that I'm going to be preparing for you guys, especially for you guys. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, it's Fahim. I'm a pharmacy prescriber, contractor, founder of Medlearn. We are here to make sure that pharmacists can be the best versions of themselves, doctors, dentists, nurses, and we can build a better world. But this series, this is going to be the ultimate series that we're going to make on how you can set up your own pharmacy business successfully and make a difference to people's lives. Folks, I want you to focus on this. We're going to be talking about how we're going to set up a pharmacy business from scratch successfully and making an impact and a positive effect on people's lives. It's not just about making money. Trust me, money is just a tool. Yes, it's very important to have and anybody that's watching this, absolutely you should be financially well off, emotionally well, physically well. You should be the best version of yourself because money may not buy happiness. But trust me, it can solve problems and we need to solve problems. So the Pharmacy Business Ultimate Webinar, Ultimate YouTube Video Series, it's going to be here and we're going to be talking about everything. Number one, why buy a pharmacy? Number two, pros and cons of a pharmacy. Number three, what is a pharmacy business? How does a pharmacy make money? How do I decide? How, how do I desire? How do I decide if I should buy a pharmacy? Which pharmacy to buy? What about running a pharmacy? What about accounts, management, everything? So you don't have to make the mistakes that I made. We're going to cover it. So first thing that I want to talk about is this thing here. Why? Why do you want to buy a pharmacy? That's really, really, really important to understand because any business requires hard work, perseverance, and something innate, something from inside that's going to drive you every day to wake up and get the job done. You have to ask yourself, why do I want to buy a pharmacy? Why a pharmacy business? Yes, the first thing naturally, what we all think about naturally, and let's hope this pen works, otherwise we're going to blame Farouk because he is, with God's will, everything for myself in terms of, you can say my second wife, for my success, for my downfall, we blame him for everything. So Mr. Farouk gets blamed for everything. If we don't do well, it's Farouk's fault. But number one, the first thing that might cross your mind is money. I want to make money. That's the first thing you're going to think, Fahim, I want to get in this business because I want to make money. That's fine. That's fine. But it's not that straightforward. A business is not linear. It doesn't grow like this. It doesn't grow like this. It's not that straightforward. Businesses tend to be like this. And it doesn't mean that this will always happen, by the way. No chance. There's a, there's a chance that it can go. Now let's change the curve. Like this. And game over. So, to do this, you have to have something that drives you. And please don't focus on, I want to own a pharmacy, I'm going to be successful. There's no, no guarantees in life, folks. No guarantees in life. So if you're going to do it, you need to be prepared to take a risk. And when I mean risk, I mean a calculated risk. You might be thinking, hey Fahim, this video, I want you to teach me everything about pharmacy. No, there's no point. I'm not going to teach you that in this video. We're going to make a series about this. I will be sharing some important points, but I want you to pause the video and understand that you are taking a calculated risk, folks. Nothing is 100%. Nothing is 100%. You might buy a pharmacy that has a monthly profit after everything is paid. That's exactly what goes in your bank account, including all the tax and everything. Let's say that pharmacy's got a profit of £10,000 a month. Okay? But that could change. Tomorrow, the NHS contract could change. Tomorrow, how much they pay a business can change. Everything can change. So nothing is guaranteed. I want you to understand, nothing is guaranteed. So when a lot of you folks get in touch, hey Fahim, I want to buy a pharmacy business. I've got this much money. What should I do? I say the first thing, are you willing to take a calculated risk? Are you willing to part with that money 
and there's a high chance it's going to work, but there's also a risk that it won't work. Are you prepared to do? Lose your 100,000, lose your 150,000. If you're not able to do that, this might not be for you. Okay, so ask yourself, why do I even want to think about setting up a pharmacy? Yes, money is important, but money is a tool to help me solve problems. That cannot be the ultimate desire. There's other things that you could do that make the same amount or the less amount and less stress, but even more money. For example, property, investing, and so on. So this is something very personal. I would recommend a good book by Simon Sinek or Simon Sinek, and it's called The Why. Have a read of that. Have a read of that book or watch the video on YouTube. Simon Sinek will leave the link there and have a look at the why. Very, very important on the why and so on. Right, first of all, let's talk about the negatives of buying a pharmacy. I want to do negatives first. It's hard work, but anything in life is hard work. Go back and have a look at my videos. Prior to this, me and Farouk were talking and he spoke about how a year ago, two years ago, I was you know, with God's will, very healthy, overweight, hard work. You don't lose weight in one day. Hard work and pers perseverance, and we're here now. So, it's hard work. Number two, risk. No guarantee. So hard work, risk, no guarantee. And I think they will be the two major negatives. But it's hard work and it's risk. When I mean hard work, it means that you have to work on it and you have to learn. You have to learn and work on it. That's the thing here. So I would say that's the only two negatives, risk and it's hard work. I can't really, there's, there's many negatives of a business. These are two. Positives. First thing, look, let me tell you something, folks. Let's think of some fundamental things in life. If you ask me what my biggest, biggest, biggest prayer to God is, or my biggest request is, it's making sure that I am good health and well-being. This is the most important thing for me. Then everything is secondary. Because lo as long as I have my health, as long as I have good well-being, there's nothing that I can't do if I put my mind to it. Simple as that. That's what I believe. That's what has been proven over years. Your mind is way too intelligent. It depends where you put it. So the first thing is with pharmacy business is you're dealing with the aspect of health. That means it will always be required. Maybe in a different form, but you're dealing with health. Doctors, nurses, Pharmacists, medicine, anything to do with health is always going to be needed. Always going to be needed. A doctor can diagnose, but what does he need to treat you? Medicines. So this business has always been there through time. When we had COVID, when we had pandemics, you're always going to have some form of healthcare. So that's where's a positive. It's always going to be there. Okay, and we know through COVID, a lot of things plummeted. A lot of things, a lot of businesses went from here, finished. This business, healthcare business, was there. 100% was there. And it, people have done really well. So that's the first pes positive. That's the first positive. Number two, I would say, the fact that it's got a good, a good solid foundation is you can help people and make a difference in people's lives. So that, in my books, is something really, really important. It's, it's, for me, it makes a big difference. So not only am I doing a business that has longevity, but also I can make a difference in people's lives. And how people perceive you, your, how people perceive you, your stature in society, it makes a difference. We have a great deal of respect for our doctors. We have a great deal of respect for our nurses, our pharmacists, because everybody knows health is important. I mean, you know, all your life, you're chasing money. You're working day and night, you're chasing money. And then what happens is you start getting older, you start chasing your health. I had, I'll give you an example of a, a customer of mine, multi, multi-millionaire. You know what he said to me? He said, I'm willing to give everything up if I can get my health back. I've worked so hard for my family, for my parents, and now I've lost my health. I'm diabetic, I've had a heart attack, I'm on multiple medicines, I wish I could give my health back. Take it all back. That's what we do. That's the reality. So with this business, you can make a difference in people's lives. You know, it's a business that has stood the test of time. It's been around even during difficult time. And also your place in society makes a difference. And it's a very secure business. Why is it a secure business? Because, and we're going to come on to this, but you're dealing with this. Now, 
You can talk that the NHS eventually is going to go bust and this will happen, that will happen, but the truth is it's a government contract. So unless the UK or something happens where it goes bust, it's a fairly secure income you have. You're not dealing with privately with people, you're dealing with the NHS. So you can see it's a very secure business. Okay, these are some of the positives and I've discussed some of the negatives. Right, what is a pharmacy business? A pharmacy business traditionally was, and I'm just going to put here, stock. What do I mean by this? A traditional pharmacy business focused on medicines. So you buy stock, medicines, cheap, and you sell them at a profit. That was a traditional model. That's what a pharmacy did. But now folks, and Farouk, I want you to focus on this. Really, really important we focus on this, is now it's moved away to, and I'm just gonna put in short, services. The pharmacy business model is now moving away from a supply chain to services. And you need to understand this, that this has to happen because we need to help people live longer and help to prevent them from getting diseases as opposed to once they have the disease, keep treating them. At some point, we have to stop you from getting this diabetes. It's too late. Once you have the diabetes, you're stuck on medicines. We've got to stop you from getting diabetes. And that's why the NHS is also focusing on services and the contract is now changing. At, a t at one time, 70%, 70% to 80% of our income was on medicines. That's it. The rest, maybe even higher. But now it's moving and changing. It's moving towards, not here, but instead we're going here, folks, services. So that's why we're helping patients, giving them advice, we're treating. You've got so many options now, having doctors within your pharmacy, having nurses there. So that's how we're going to start generating income. We're going to generate income through the NHS. Of course, there will be medicine supply, but you'll probably now understand that that needs to become very efficient because the money that we're making for medicines is now starting to fall or the profit. So that has to become efficient and the focus is on services. For example, flu vaccinations, for example, giving people advice, consultation and so on. So that's where we are at the moment. That's, that's what the pharmacy business does. It's primarily a service led, whether it's supplying of medicines or giving people healthcare advice, that's what we do. Now, how we make money, and I briefly touched on this, we make money from our biggest customers, our biggest customer is the NHS. And then you have private sales. Private sales. And that is through a shop. You can sell various different medicines, cosmetics, toiletries. I would focus on services, travel vaccinations, aesthetics, beauty, and so on. So that's how you generate income. Another one that people don't talk about is leveraging your experience getting people to come within your pharmacy and training them, giving them skills, teaching them apprenticeship programs and so on, teaching other people how to do what you've done. So there's plenty of avenues. You don't have to stick to the traditional toiletries, cosmetics, physical products. You can also sell services. There's so much more that you can do. For example, what am I doing? I'm teaching people how to set up a pharmacy. I'm teaching people how to become prescribers. And folks, any of you out there who are struggling to find a doctor to supervise you, get in touch with us at Medellin. Any of you folks who are struggling to, or thinking about setting up a pharmacy and want to go into it as a partnership or a franchise model, get in touch with us at Medellin because we can help you do it together. Because together, we are stronger. Keep that in mind, okay? So, like I explained to you, the money, you've got the NHS. You've got private. And that's that's when we say the world is at your feet. Privately, you can sell whatever, anything you want. You can get a dentist inside. You can get a physiotherapist inside. You can have a chiropodist inside, a podiatrist, anything you want. So there's so much that can be done. And that's primarily how pharmacy makes money. But there's other ways that you could help. You could have people who you... You can sponsor people to work with you. You can call people from abroad. There's so much that you can do to generate money within this business. So there's plenty that you can do, but keep in mind, folks, you wanna be helping people. Now, what about the pharmacy contract? For those of you who don't have any idea about a pharmacy contract, what you need to focus on is the pharmacy contract is what we call a standard hour, which is where your pharmacy is open 40 hours a week. We call this a standard hour contract. 40 hours a week. That's a standard hours contract where your pharmacy is open eight till six and you can do the maths. 
eight till six, a standard hour contract that is. Okay, that's an NHS contract, an NHS contract. So you can get an NHS contract that's a standard hour contract. You could also get an NHS contract that's that's enhanced hours or extended hours, and that's when you normally open for seventy-two hours a week. It used to be hundred, but seventy-two hours a week. Then we have distance selling pharmacies. We have online pharmacies, and we're going to go into these a lot of depth. But not now. I just want you to understand that there's different types of pharmacy contracts. All of them have positives and negatives. All of them have different, you know, value to them. But that's what you should understand. So from this video, you should understand number one: Why should I set up a pharmacy? Why do I even want to go into business? Think about it. What are the positives and negatives? Negatives: risk, calculated risk, hard work. The positives: longevity. It stood the test of time. I'm making a difference to people's lives. It's a regular secure income in addition to your stature in society and so on. What does a pharmacy do? Very simple. Selling, buying medicines at a lower price, selling them on the NHS that pay you higher. I make money from there. I also make money through services where I can help people through services. These services might be, for example, a private doctor consultation, a dentist consultation, a nurse consultation. The NHS may pay for this or I may have to pay or the patient privately has to pay for this. How pharmacy week makes money? We've got the NHS, we've got our shop, we've got online, we've got private services plus whatever else you can think about. We've discussed about the contact types. What do we have? We have a standard NHS contract which is Either you open for 40 hours or extended. I can do an online pharmacy. I could do a distance selling pharmacy. We'll go through this in depth. Or I can set up a private pharmacy. And in a private pharmacy, I don't get NHS prescriptions. I have nothing to do with the NHS. The only way that I'm going to make money is people pay me privately through prescriptions or private services. So folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video because this is going to be amazing because the next videos that we're going to start to do, we're going to go into this in depth. I'm going to tell you how you set up a pharmacy from start to finish. I'm going to be telling you how you buy a pharmacy, how to get a loan, how to value a pharmacy. Should I buy a pharmacy? Should not buy a pharmacy from start to finish? Any of you folks that are interested in buying a pharmacy, get in touch with us at MedLearn. Thank you for watching, and let's make a difference in this life, and let's make a difference in this world. Bismillah rahman rahim. One, one. What was the subject? Two, three. This is our pharmacy business series. Okay. We're, We're going to be telling you everything. How, how to. Works, everything. But this is the introduction. How can much, much more money or something? This is the introduction. Let's go. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four. I can't. Bismillah.